The one on the left is great. Shoot them. Go for it, somebody. Go ahead, hurry up. Get that other one. He's still up. Get him, Kevin. Oh baby, that was loud. Well, we have a little accident here. They put the rescue boat in. That's why That's the yeah. canoe rolled over. But they were in that blind, these guys. We're guessing their canoe ran it or flipped over. And the rescue boat, while I was out setting the layout, came, rescued them, put them back to shore. So hopefully they're okay. But we'll see. The layout set. We've got our spread in front of us. We've got a bluebill and two buffalo heads down so far. There's a drake right in the middle out there. Yeah, I see. Two drakes, there's two drakes. Hold on right here. It's a hand, what the hand go? I shot the only Drake. I saw him. Like, he's a Drake. I'm going. Hey. Up there. For a hard shot. Got a blue bill down. What's up, Gunner? It's Gunner, good boy. Huh? Yes. Well, it's the next day. Got the boat in the garage. Here's the birds. So the birds I shot. I got my bluebill lemon, I got a can, nice straight golden eye. Me and the one guy kind of tagged team, the black duck. But we all got our bluebill limits, only one hen. Got three Drake buffalo heads. Had a Merg decoy, so they schwacked them. And then I whacked a big old goose. Good day hunting for four guys. Now we're, uh, I'm gonna start cleaning the birds. And we're getting the boat clean, getting all the uh, salt off it, as you can see. A nice salt stuck to the motor. But Gonna get her shined up, ready to roll for the next hunt. Wax on, wax off, Luke. Wax on, wax off. Well, the boat is nice and clean. All the salt's off it, got the birds clean. But I wanted to give everybody a backstory on the flashing lights we saw 
on the beach on a couple blinds over. Well, we were up there in the morning. We see flashing lights. We thought maybe someone was getting shot before shooting ours. We didn't know. Looking over at the beach, see these flashing lights, and then they went out. An hour later, more flashing lights, and then this boat comes coming across the beach. It was like an amphibious boat with like poles sticking out and wheels, and then goes in the water. Wish I could have got it on video. And then goes over to a blind that's two down from us, about 300 yards. Turns out, two kids, 19 and 20 years old, were paddling across, and I don't know if they were setting decoys with the canoe. Something happened, they flipped it over, they lost some gear, and they were stranded out there, freezing cold in the blind for like an hour and a half. Sucks, they didn't know we were there out in that blind to pass them, because we came from a boat, we didn't come from shore. So they sat in there for an hour and a half, 300 yards away from us, didn't know we were there, so they couldn't get like flashlights at us to get a hold of us. They're flashing lights towards the beach. But luckily, they were okay. No frostbite, no hypothermia. Coast Guard came and got them. But later, later in the day, we went over and picked up their decoys, picked up their gear, and took it to the beach and met them there. And they were really grateful we did, did that for them. But thank God, no one got really hurt. It can be dangerous out there, guys. Number one thing with this duck hunting in the wintertime, just be safe. It's a dangerous sport and one wrong move can really cost you. So be safe guys, hopefully you like the video we got to got, got some birds down, it was a fun hunt with friends. And we'll see you on the next one guys.